morning people oh, I hope you've had a lovely day today right I am going to have a play today with these lovely Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes um, these ones are called Glowing Embers and this is a mixture of just fantastic colours beautiful not tried this one yet we've got gold reds purples bronzes um, also gunmetal kind of grey colour in there really pretty really pretty colours so I want to give this a go um, obviously I'll be using that with my scoochie to rub them into place and my flake and glitter glue also by Cosmic Shimmer this is amazing stuff super super sticky um, I'm also going to be using today these Stamped by Francoise Reed. Um, I've already got my butterfly laid out on my um, stamping platform. But this is, um, what is this one called actually? Cog Butterfly. Cog Butterfly. Says it all really. This is built up of cogs. Um, I'm hoping though, it's very, very detailed, but I'm hoping I'll pick up that detail with those flakes. Because sometimes you, you can... You can lose a bit of detail sometimes, but I'm, let's see how it goes because this is a very detailed stamp and I want to give that a try just to see what I can pick up. Um, and I'm also using, um, again by Francoise Reed, um, this was the one from her stamp collection um, quite recently and I'd like to use some words from this stamp set. So let's give those a go. Right, I've got my A5 card as usual, um, 15 centimetres by 21 centimetres and I'm going to use, I wanted to use a shiny um, surface because this glue, as I say, is very, very sticky and can sometimes pull up you, your paper as you stamp it, uh, it can pull up your paper. So I've, I thought I'd give it a go on this shiny surface, see how we get on with that. Um, that is um, 13 and a half by 19 and a half centimetres. I've got my stamping platform ready with my stamp well loved as you can see on there ready to go. So I'm going to just place this on here. I may also do a border using um, double sided sticky tape. I may also do a gilded border with that. We'll see where this goes first with the butterfly. The printing magnets right so I'm just going to use a little bit of an old it's like a, a little old makeup squidgy type of thing I'm going to use that to apply my glue um, got a decent amount on there use a piece of paper just to smooth that out I don't want to apply it too thickly that it all just fill all the crevices in the stamp but you need to put on a, a, a good a good bit so that it remains wet otherwise it will just stick to your card um just dab that all over there all over your stamp it will come off your stamp um you can either sling it straight into warm soapy water when you're done or just give it a wipe over with a cloth or something it will it will clean so long as you don't leave it on there to dry on hard first. There you go. That's a, a good generous amount of glue. All over the stamp. But dab it on so it's kind of damp if you like. Dampish if you like. If it's too wet. It will take you have to wait for it to dry for quite a while before you can put the flakes on. But if it's almost there like that, you should be good to go. Let's see if that stamps out well without moving my paper around the place. Right, I'm being careful because obviously it's a shiny surface and it, I don't want it to slide. So I just want to grab that detail. onto my card, onto my smooth shiny card 
and lift that up. Ah, perfect. Now I'm just going to clean my stamp straight off because, like I say, if you don't do it straight the way, it may get a bit too sticky. This is just water in here. Like I say, sometimes you, if I'm too too busy out, you know, with something else, I'll just sling it in a bowl of warm soapy water and then come back to it later. But for now. I can just clean that off. As you can see, it comes straight off. Yeah. One clean stamp. Okay, do this because we've got to wait for that to. I mean, I say leave it to dry, but I mean. It kind of, on your sponge, when you apply this glue, it looks kind of, it's got like a bluey tint to it. It doesn't look it in the bottle, but you can see it around the nib there. It has like a bluish tint to it as you as you apply it. As soon as that bluish tint has disappeared on your paper, you're good to be pretty much, you're good to go. So let's just remove that. That under there. Let's get this off of here. Like so, I think I'm going to put a piece of paper down first because these flakes have a knack of getting everywhere. So as you can see, that has put a good imprint on there. And that glue is now, it, that is dry enough to, to apply. It is, It doesn't look blue. Like I showed you on the nibber there, if it still looks blue like it was on that nib, it's too wet. Don't apply it while it's like that. So let's see where we go with this then. Right, gilding flakes. Just look at those colours in there. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. I really hope this will stand out on the black. As you can see, I've got glue on me and they're all sticking to me as well. I think we've got a good mixture of the colour in there. This, I'm hoping, is going to look absolutely stunning. Right, I'm going to use my scoochie now to gently move those flakes around so that it covers everything. And take off the oh pretty what is that obviously something looks like a strand of paper something that must must have been stuck to Miss Scucci or something. So let's just get off the large excess pieces because they can go back in your jar. That, that will not get wasted. That, however small it is, can get used again. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. Put these few bits back in my jar. Of course, my paper's folded the wrong way. They can go back in there. Don't waft your paper too much near it because it will make the rest of them come out. That's it. Get my lid on quick. So now I'm going to go over a little bit more with the scooch. Very gently, don't need to rub hard. And as you can see, it's picking up the detail of those cogs there. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And this just takes off any excess, anywhere where there's no glue, it'll rub it away. Mm. 
the colours in here were just absolutely gorgeous. Stunning colours. What's this one called again? Glowing Embers, yeah. Oh, I've got this one now. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry about the squeaking. It's because I've got. <laughs> it's because I'm on. Because I'm on shiny guard. It's sticking to it as well. Static. Look, there you go. Let me get rid of all that static off there. Got a static cling. I probably perhaps I should have used my dusty powder when using this. Where you know what you use when you're doing your um, heat embossing. You use your, your powder first, don't you? Your anti-static bag. Might be an idea using that if you're going to use this sort of card. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I love that. I'm really pleased that did turn out how I wanted it to. And it has actually picked up the detail. I wasn't sure it would because it is a lot of tiny detail. I wasn't sure it had, it had you know, with the different colours, I weren't sure it would stand out well enough. Knowing a, a mixture of colours on it, but it's come out lovely. I'm pleased with that. Let me just get rid of this. I won't bother putting that back in my pot. That can go in the bin and soak in all these bits as well. Off my desk. Before I breathe them in and make me sneeze. That's it. So, with my cloth, not the bit that's really damp, I find a dryish patch. I'm just going to go over that because it's all sticking with the static that's it now i think that is beautiful i think that's stunning actually it's lovely i've got a, a piece of dry ish tissue anyway yeah i think i'll use this because i'm a bit aware that i'm losing me I'm getting fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> it's always using shiny card. Okay. Well, I'm make sure that's clean around the edge because I want to stick tape. Okay, me and my fingerprints again. There you go. Right, I don't know if there's going to be room on there for one of those sentiments. No, I don't think there is. I'll, just, I'll probably just use the sentiment that comes with it after all. So now I'm going to edge this card with my red liner tape because it is the best stuff and it's only very narrow. I only want very narrow if I can find the end. Let's see it somewhere. There we go. I'm going to edge the card with this and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to gild that as well. Because I think it's, I think you just got to, it's beautiful. Those colours are beautiful and I think we need to show it off. Get myself in a mess as usual. Meet the edge there, did I? Or did I? Just about. There you go. Yeah. It does now. Well, if you get a little bit of overlap, it'll uh, flatten down and it on that edge anyway. So, I'm 
I think this is going to look absolutely gorgeous. because oh. <sighs> it's got that plastic coat in this stuff it's my scissors obviously they're not good right at the ends there you go right so back with the paper so i'm gonna fold it so i've got a crease in this way if i should dust that over first i don't know if it might scratch the card though and i've got a bit of an over ledge there as well i'm going to get that off before i start because once it's on there i'll probably find it hard to cut Super, super sticker, sticks to everything with no mercy. Uh -uh. Right, let's try and peel this off here. There we go. It's because I've overlapped it there. Let's stick that down. Pick the rest up. That's it, Let's stick that corner to that. Come on. It's caught just underneath the other the other bit. No, get them out of the way. Sticking to me. Static everywhere. Right then, let's Go again with the flakes. I'm going to do one edge at a time, I think. Yeah, sticking. I should have left the thing on there. Should have left the. Uh... Yeah, should have left the cover in on it, maybe. So I think let's just go all the way around. You can see you get some such pretty colours in here. Reds and purples. Oh, look at that purpley colour in there. It's gorgeous. Make sure we get some of that on there. And that. Stunning this is. Reds on as well. Right, let's go again then. over it roughly to start with just to drag all them flakes so that it catches on every sticky part that's there wow look at that see where it's going it's beautiful some of these excess bits. These larger bits. 
I'll buff it properly in a minute. I really wasn't sure what I was going to play with today. I couldn't think of something I've not done for a long time, but I had a quick look through what I've got and I thought, oh, not tried these flakes yet, and let's have a go with those. Look at that. Right, let's put the excess away before it ends up everywhere. As always, I'm already covered in the stuff. I can go back in my pot. Even all the dust, it'll all get, it'll all, um, it'll still cover you. Yeah, sticky bits that you apply. Let's get the lid on there quick. <laughs> you find yourself holding your breath all the time when you're using this stuff. You have to, you have to hold your breath. It goes everywhere. That's it, and then just smooth that off gently. Get rid of the excess, buffs it up a little bit as well. Oops. I think that makes for a lovely card. I might even send this one to my mummy. Just to say hello and how are you, mummy? She lives about 90 miles away from me, so I don't see her all the time, but I'm, I am going over to see her very soon. Get rid of that static thingy bit, that's it. Let's get rid of all of that. over there there what do you think to that then pretty or what those colors are just unbelievable i can't believe the amount of colors that are in this it's got like gunmetally colors kind of got a bluey tint to it you've got purple there bits of silver gold copper red it's kind of a, a greenish color in there as well Absolutely stunning. I love it. I love that. I love how that's come out. So then we shall attach that to our card. I think that will do nicely just there. I've just used my Anita's glue for this. Put my top back on here as well. Now that bit's dried off, I can put my top on. That's that. That's that glue done with. And then the Anita's glue, just an ordinary glue, just to I'm going to try not to put it on where the card is blank because if I do, it will show lines through. So I'm going to put my glue all around this edge. And you know me, I usually just whiz it all over the back, but I'm going to be careful not to do that this time. I'm going to do it more or less where the butterfly will be. Just to make sure we, you know, got some extra sticky just rather than just on the edge. I don't like having it just on the edge. We get into our own habits, don't we? And where we put things, there you go. That can go on there like that. I just notice sometimes with a mirror card, if you've got glue underneath here, it shows the lines underneath. I just wanted to avoid that. There. Now, sentiment. So the sentiments that come with this are fly away and happy birthday. Hmm. 
would like to have put one of these on but it's not really a space there's not a space big enough for these i don't think um well i wanted to put that on make every day a new beginning full of possibilities as as in a butterfly just hatching out but i don't know if that will fit on there oh, i don't know it might do you know should i give it a try I think I will give that a try. Should do it with gilding flakes again as well. I think I'll yeah. I don't know if I don't know if that will show the words clear enough though. Whether to stamp it onto something and add it on. I think I'm probably better off to stamp it onto something and add it on. Stamp it onto can't stamp it onto that because it won't. <coughs> I've got nothing for the ink to stick to. Just need a little bit of black card. Stamp it on there. To try stamping it in a in a gold or something. So at least it's still in keeping with me colours. Let's try this one. Little Brilliance Galaxy Gold. See if this will pick up my letters. Clear enough. I should do. Look, yeah. It's a lovely saying. I think it just goes. I think it just goes nice with this butterfly. That was. I was hoping to use this one. Right, I think I'm going to stamp that about there. Let that pick up the ink. No, I don't like that. It's not very good, is it? I've moved it. Let's try again. I moved. I must have moved. What do you think? Can you see it? Make every day a new beginning full of possibilities. Don't stand up very well at all, does it? I wonder if that will link straight on there. I'm just afraid of it might slide though. If it slides. And then I don't know how long it will take it to dry either. Let's give it a go. Right there, fingers crossed. Eek. I hope it works because if it don't I've just spoiled this whole thing <laughs> not that I mean to be negative of course it's going to work Ange right hey worked better on there than it did on the black thingy card the matte card hey look at that that's come out lovely actually oh wait that don't take too long to dry what's this sort of ink do let's have a look uh, oh, it doesn't tell me if it's quick drying or not. Pigment ink. I don't know if that dries quick or not. Probably not. Anyway, look at that. And also, maybe on this butterfly set, it also comes with all these other little cogs and things perhaps I should put some you know should I dot a cog or two here and there put that back on there you 
you see it's got these lot it's got these extra little cogs and things maybe i should dot one of them here and there i don't know what do you think shall we shall we let's go with that little double one there i'll just do it with it i'll just do it with ink i won't do it with um embossing powder just to add to the background a little bit nothing too much clean that off let's dab a bit of this ink that gold come really good on that black i'm surprised at that i didn't i didn't expect that i expected it to slip from previous experience right let's put some down there Yeah, see, I'm slipping a bit now. That's because it's a bigger stamp. I'm really, really careful. I don't want them all to look the same. See, just to add a little bit of interest in the background. That's it. If I don't think about it too much, just dab it down, get it on there. <laughs> More right. Let's see. There. What do you think? Thing is, sometimes you just never know when to stop, do you? Pleased with that, I think. That's it, that's it. That's all it needs. A little bit of interest in the background as well. Put my lid on me ink. There. That weren't so bad, was it? I'm really pleased with that. I think that's come out lovely. Really pretty. I'll give you a real good close up of them colours in that. Gorgeous. These purples and see those purples and reds. So pretty. Well, there you go. I do hope you enjoyed this little demo. And have a go yourself. Get your flakes out. Get your flakes out. Have a play, you know, get in a mess, have some fun and see what, what beautiful things you can create with it as, along the way. OK, so yeah, I do hope you did enjoy this demo. I will see you again next time. Have a lovely evening, everybody. And bye for now. Ooh.